PEI Safety presents Proper Barricading of Job Sites. Remember that the safety of workers, pedestrians, and motorists must be considered in choosing the number and type of safety devices. Determine the quantity and type of barricades and warning devices needed for each job before work begins. Use barricades with reflective panels. Include flashing lights on barricades that are to be used as protective devices. Use a parked vehicle as a temporary barricade. Use barricades of proper height. Use a sufficient number of barricades to properly secure the area and ensure the safety of others. Use yellow warning tape to seal gaps between barricades at job sites. Check to ensure flashing lights on lighted barricades are operational. Use bright safety colors that can be easily seen. Use highly visible orange fencing to completely enclose work sites that are over six inches in depth or will be left overnight. Tape off areas with warning tape. Use slow or caution signs when working at an active job site. Cover and secure small holes in the pavement with metal or wood sheeting when leaving a small excavation overnight. Don't assign the responsibility of safety to someone unfamiliar with the dynamics of the job site. If safety devices do not meet minimum standards, they are not to be used. Don't set up barricades too close to the work area. Don't break up traffic flow more than is necessary. Don't assume that others will see your barricades. Make them visible. Don't leave a job site without one last inspection of the safety devices and barricades. Don't remove barricades until all work is complete. Thanks for watching. These safety tips have been brought to you by the Petroleum Equipment Institute. For more quick tips and safety resources, visit PEI.org safety.